We must give them a character with whom they can identify. Uncle Frank. 60s. Looks older. We all have a part to play in defeating him. Not this part. It's a corpse role. He's dead before the end of Act 3. You played two different characters in this movie. How was that like? It was very good value and it was fun to play a, the pompous actor and to play, because it's a film about making a film, I get to play the actor plus, as you know, the part in the film that, uh, that, you're, uh, that we're making in the film that you're watching. So I got to play drunken Uncle Frank. So it was quite good fun. Is it possible to say that maybe Hilliard have some of the same characteristic traits as Billy Mac, your character from ah. Love Actually, even though they live in two different time periods. Yes, it is possible, yeah, because they are both vain. I mean, conspicuously vain. Everybody's vain, mm. to some degree. Even if they are self-loathing. Self-loathing is a form of vanity. Everybody's vain. But, um, yeah, there are similarities, and they are in their you know, declining years, obviously. Uh, and uh, and they're quite uh, sort of aware of their status, and I hope they're both reasonably amusing. So yeah, there are similarities. It's about respect for the art and for the artists, and it makes me think how wrong we've been playing Uncle Frank for laughs. Yes, he's a drunkard and a clown, but he's also all those people who gave their sons to one war and now their grandsons to another. Uh, this is not PR. This is for real. This is true. It was fabulous to work with Lona Scherfig. I adore Lona Scherfig. I would, if I had to go to work every day and it was with Lona Scherfig, I would be perfectly happy. I'm not saying this because I'm in Copenhagen. I'm not saying this because, you know, it's, I'm in a press situation. I'm saying it because it's true. I tried to work with her before and for various reasons that we couldn't get it together. And uh, I met her when I first came to Copenhagen with another film called The Boat That Rocked. And that was my first trip here. And we got on very well. And then I got to work with her on this. And she is much cleverer than I am, which is what you require from a director. She, is, she has great humanity, great generosity of spirit. She has an open mind. She gave me big, fat, clever ideas every day about what might be funny. Uh, she gave me courage. She gave me uh, ideas about how to tell the story, how to schedule the funny bits with the sad bits or the less funny bits, you know. Um, she has a brilliant overview of everything. It's very, it's an incredibly diff difficult job to direct movies, you know, and she does it uh, brilliantly. And I heard she laughed at your jokes. And she laughs at my jokes, which is <laughs> even more important, yeah, uh, which is really all I require. I'm a simple man. If you laugh at my jokes, I will follow you anywhere. So why do you think Lona has such a good take on British films? I think she just has a good take on humanity, on people, and on her job, like writing, you know, the visual side of things. She's brilliant in all those areas. I think she's just, uh, she has great access to her, what you might call her compassionate sensibility. So you would love to work with her again? I am going to work with her again. I am very pleased about that, yeah. So uh, we have plans to work together again. Not, it won't be immediately, but perhaps then, but not too long. So uh, uh, I'm very, very happy about that. Mrs. Cole, uh, where is she? Kurt! Could someone please get Mr. Hilliard out of Dunkirk? <laughs> <laughs>